I get a lot of questions when it comes to pickling solution, so I'm making this video to explain and teach you everything you need to know about it and how to use it. To start off, pickling is basically the process of taking metal and putting it into an acid bath to remove oxidation, fire scale, and flux residue in order to make the metal clean. And having clean metal is key for you to be able to solder metals along with being able to finish your work in general. There's a lot of ways to make your own pickling solution, but I'm only going to show you two in this video. The first pickling solution I'm going to talk about is made from just white distilled vinegar and salt. Just use one teaspoon of salt for every cup of vinegar and you should be good to go. You'll need a crock pot for this, seeing that it works best when warm. Just a side note, once the crock pot is used for this, it can never be used for food again. So once you've got the mixture up to temperature, go ahead and put your fire scaled metals into it and check on it every 10 minutes or so until the fire scale is gone. If your piece is flat, you might want to wrap some thin copper wire around it so the solution can get underneath the piece and remove all of the fire scale at once. Once your piece is clean, you're going to want to take it out with some copper tongs and clean the acid off. To do this, you're going to need to neutralize the acid. Just add some baking soda to water and rinse the piece off in it. The second pickling solution that I use is Sparex number 2. This is an easy to use dry acid compound that you just add to water. In order to get this set up, you just need to add 2 tablespoons of the compound for each cup of water. This solution also needs to be warmed to work properly, so you'll still need the crock pot for this. The upside to this pickling solution is that it lasts a long time and works really fast. It also doesn't make your work area smell like vinegar all the time. Over time, the water will evaporate. All you need to do is add more water and it should be good to go. There are some things that you need to know about pickling solution though. For starters, never put steel into it. This will react with the copper in the solution and copper plate everything that is in the solution, along with dissolving the steel if left in for too long. Another thing to look out for is using metals that contain zinc, like brass. If you leave brass in the pickling solution, it will start to remove the zinc from the brass exposing the copper and it will turn pink. If you leave brass in for too long, like over 24 hours, you'll come back to a very brittle piece of metal that is now most likely ruined. If you happen to get this copper look on your brass, you can remove it by etching it off. You'll just need to mix white vinegar and hydrogen peroxide in equal parts in its own container. Then submerge the brass into the mixture. It'll start to bubble and dissolve the copper from the outer layer of the brass. But make sure to keep an eye on it because if you leave it in for too long, it will start to eat away more than just the copper on the outside of the metal. Basically, you just take out the metal once you've seen that the copper is gone. This process will leave a kind of dull look and pattern on your piece, and you will have to polish it up after this to get rid of it. Once your pickle is no longer working or just has too much copper infused into it, you need to dispose of it. But when it's at this point, it's now considered a hazardous chemical. I know in some areas, depending on how your sewage system is set up, you can flush it down the toilet, seeing that it goes to a waste treatment plant. But if you happen to have a septic system, then I wouldn't do this. The safest way to get rid of it is just to look up a household hazardous waste disposal site near you. If you go this route, make sure to put it into a sealed container and label it so they know what they have to work with. Just label it sodium bisulfate with copper. Well, that's about it. I hope this info was helpful, and if it was, feel free to leave a like. If you happen to have any other pickling info, leave it in the comments. And if you'd like to be alerted when I post new videos, subscribe to this channel. I try to post new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye!